Good morning, Choctaw. I'm Betsy. And I'm Kinsey. And you're watching Tribal News. On this week's show, we get to look into Choctaw's yearbook program, our girls' volleyball team, hallway decorating, and trivia. Our volleyball team has been working very hard with an overall score of 13 to 2. Let's see what they're up to. Uh, this season, Choctaw Volleyball would love to make it further in state. Last year, we made it to the Sweet 16, so this year we are hoping to get Elite 8 and also win District. This is a really special team this year. Um, they are very, very close, and I love watching them interact with each other. Um, they are a powerhouse all around, so make sure you come check us out. My favorite memory while playing volleyball is um, playing against Pace High School. We were in the third set, and the game was back. Like The score was close, very close, and our team got a save, and I free balled it over, and I had the clutch uh, point getting a free ball kill. What do I like most about volleyball is being with the team and winning games together and creating a strong bond and building chemistry up. The position I play is center slash DS, and DS is a defensive specialist, and the setter is a person that sets up the ball for the hitters to hit. My funnest memory is whenever we, at practice, sometimes we'll play tag and like tell jokes with each other, so it's really fun to have fun at practice. Also, just playing against Fort Walton, like all the chants and stuff the student section does, it's really fun. After high school, my plan for playing volleyball in the future is to play at FAMU because that's where I'm committed. And it's D1, so I'm really happy about that. And I love the community and all of that, so I'm excited to play there. Keep up the good work, girls. Our class officers and clubs this year have been going all out with their hallway decorations. Let's take a look. So I um, get most of my inspiration from my posters from the school spirit and um, Choctaw in general. Um, my inspiration from my quotes is just a lot of historical people like MC Hammer from Can't Touch This. I found my inspiration for our hallway decorating from my club. A lot of times it's what fits the theme and then also whatever the school is we just kind of like think of good things to say that go against them. I find it important to decorate the hallways because I feel like it's good to have school spirit. Like when you're walking around and you see your colors or like oh that poster is so awesome it's so cool and it just like gets you more hype for the upcoming games. My favorite part of hallway decorating is writing the quotes and drawing and coloring with my friends. Putting everything up with my friends. My favorite part of hallway decorating is um, getting to see the end product and um, seeing how hard we work throughout the week to paint signs, hang up streamers, um, light coverings, all that stuff, and being able to see the final product. I was in Green Thumbs Club and then one day like, oh, we're going to do hallway decorating. And then we were like, oh, cool, that's what we've been doing for the past two days. So if you want to get involved with hallway decorating, go find your class office. For the seniors, it's going to be class president Angelique Patterson. For the juniors, you can go talk to the junior class president. For the sophomores, you can talk to Jalissa Lopez. Personally, I would just say the sophomores have the best hallway decorations. Duh, the seniors. Come on, guys. Senior hallway, of course, uh, 2023. How much do you really know about your school? Let's hear from some of our students. What's your name? Oh, it's Mendoza. Oh, my God, no. Have you been to the pool on the roof yet? There ain't no pool on the roof. Yes, there is. You know who Coach Fuller is? After track practice one day, he took us up there, and it was, like, the best thing ever. No, but for real, though, you got to get someone to let you up there. There's a pool up there. There's a pool up there. Devani Essen. All right. What are the school colors? Green, white, and black. Okay, so, Chad, who's the athletic director? Who? Who's the athletic director? Like, Pig, pin, or whatever. <laughs> What's his name? Hey, I'm here with... Uh, Morgan Now. And the question is, what year anniversary is it for Chuck Uh, 70. That's good. My mom's a teacher. Today I'm here with... Ryan Smith. And the question is, what is the speed limit in Choctaw's parking lot? 35. That's a good idea. Today I'm here with... Kaya Webb. And today's question is, what is Choctaw's mascot? The whale. Congratulations to the senior class and Green Thumbs for winning the Tomahawk two times in a row. 
Now we get to see how yearbook captures the lives of students at Choctaw. Well, we've just gotten started in yearbook this year, and right now it's the beginning of the year. So our editor-in-chief, Emily Black, is working, she has been working diligently on assigning pages uh, to the members of the yearbook staff. My favorite thing about being in yearbook would have to be just the fact that I get to go to all the events and take pictures. It's just really cool to experience everything um, and be able to keep those memories. My favorite memory from yearbook would have to be taking pictures at soccer games. Um, last year there was one specific game where one of my really good friends uh, scored a goal and that was just a really exciting experience. The theme of this year's yearbook is going to be Choctaw Platinum Edition. It is the 70th anniversary of Choctaw and the 70th anniversary gift is Platinum. Um, regardless of what grade you're in, um, it is a memory book and it is a, it should be a picture of our school. It should be a snapshot in time of what our school was like during this year. I wanted to do your book because it's a great way to meet new people and learn new things. The greatest thing about your book is people really appreciate what you do, whether it's for the yearbook or just for the school in general. Uh, I think what I like about your book is just how much like involved we are. Like we literally just like go to so many events and like capture students like favorite moments, you know, playing what they love and just doing stuff they like. Choctaw has multiple events each week. The best way to keep up with these events is to follow all of Choctaw's social media. Keep up with Choctaw's future and current events on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. That's all for today, Choctaw. Till next time. Till next time.